It's the emblem of Lehigh County, displayed on government buildings and official documents. I get it with my water bill, I get it with my garbage bill. Look closely and you might see why the county seal and flag don't fly for everyone, including Candace Winkler. The cross is literally a symbol of Jesus Christ's crucifixion. There's a constitutional law about separation of church and state, and it seems very simple to me. So earlier this week, Winkler, along with three other Lehigh County residents and the Freedom From Religion Foundation, filed a federal lawsuit against the county. It alleges the Latin cross at the center of the seal violates the First and Fourteenth Amendments and excludes those who are not religious. Oh, I do pay taxes, and I think that my voice does matter, and I think the constitutionality of the issue matters. But some residents, like John Pearson, want the seal to stay the same. I've been here 38 years, and I think it looks fine. If you want to put two seals on it, that's fine, but you know what? Don't take what's good off. The cross is good. Similar lawsuits have been filed across the country, says attorney John Dorsey of the Power 10 Legal Group, who is not related to the case. Anytime you raise an issue where the government seems to be imposing or endorsing one religion to the exclusion of others, even those who do not have any religion, it can be interpreted as infringing on their right. In a previous letter responding to the foundation, county officials wrote, quote, it is the position of Lehigh County that the presence of the cross on the seal, among other items of historical significance, has the secular purpose of recognizing the history of the county. As a result, they said they don't plan to remove the cross from the county seal. I also reached out to county officials for an updated statement. The county solicitor said his office does not comment on pending litigation. Reporting in Allentown, Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.